everyone. Welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Ray. I'm a small animal general practitioner. And today I want to be um, talking to you guys about a new product that has come to the market for veterinarians here in the United States. Um, it has been available uh, overseas in Australia for many, many, many years. Um, and we've just got it here. I've been watching it. I don't know. I think it's been like five years. I guess I could Google it really quick and see how many years it's been out. Yeah, so it's been out since 2023. So um two years three months um so yes it's been available for two years and three months in australia so we have some really good data and um, it was also approved in the um, european union in 2024 so they've had it for a while and now it, it's here in the united states and so why are we why are veterinarians really excited about it and um, it is one injection the last an entire year for fleas and ticks which is a total game changer for us for a number of reasons um, and we're going to be going over those today as we talk about the product, how it works, um, and and really importantly for everybody, the safety, the safety. So as veterinarians, you know, our motto is do no harm. And so we want a product um, not only that is effective, but we want a product that is very safe as well. And so we're going to be going over those um, things. I personally am very excited. I fully intend when my pet pro heart come, comes due because I want to match the two together because pro heart's good for a year. I want to match it with the Brovecto for a year. Um, when they come due in November, I will I will totally be using this on both my pets um, because I live in an area that is very endemic um, with fleas and ticks. Right now I'm doing an oral flea and tick medication and I am consistently a week late <laughs> every month on that with them. So this is going to be an amazing product and um, I think, and so we're going to be going over that today. This video is not sponsored. Um, I don't, Merck makes this product. I was like, I don't even know who makes it. It's made by Merck. Um, this video is not sponsored. I'm just bringing this information to you because I think it's important for pet owners to know and understand this. And your veterinarian may not have the amount of time to go over it in detail with you as I'm going to be going over it um, today. Because, you know, you can't have 30 minutes in your exam room just simply going over the pharmacokinetics of a, of a product. Um, so you may be hearing about it, you may be seeing it popped up, and then as soon as a product comes to the market, the naysayers, um, always swoop in and so um you know you may have people out there that are already saying that this product has damaged or hurt your pet um, and so i want you to have the full information um, so that you can make a reasonable decision if this is appropriate for for you or not and so um the product is brevetto brevecto quantum so this is a box here um it is one injection one full ear protection for fleas and ticks it is for dogs only and so um, what is it? It is the, um, the active ingredient is a floral honor. If you are familiar with the regular Brevecto, um, it is that product. It is simply just put in a time release formula um, that will disperse over a year instead of having to give the chew um, every three months or they also have a Brevecto one month. So it's the same um, active ingredient as that, just in a time release fashion. Um, the Floral Honor is part of a class of flea and tick medications called isoxazolines. And um, what do the isoxazolines do? They target insects by selectively inhibiting the GABA and glutamate gated chloride channels in specifically arthropods. So they do not affect any of those things in um, the mammalian species. And so that's how come they are very safe. Um, they only affect those systems of the um, arthropod class, you know, based on taxonomy. And so when they inhibit those pathways, it causes an excitation of their nervous system, which then really results in paralysis of the arthropods and then results in death. It is highly, highly, highly selective for only insect um, pathways. And so that is why they are so um, considered so safe. Um, it is a systemic medication as opposed to a um, topical medication or uh, one of those spot-ons that you do so you put the spot on it actually travels down the skin and the hair follicles it does not reach the bloodstream this actually does um, reach the bloodstream and so it is systemic and so that's why it is a prescription product versus an over-the-counter product at least here in the united states so we get that question a lot why are you know all the best flea and tick medications why are they always all prescription it's not fairly prescription the reason why is because they're a systemic a systemic um product and so um, the fda feels that that is best done on the advice and discretion of a veterinarian there are certain pets that um, will have certain reactions to it because it is systemic and so those risk and reward things are high enough that the fda feels like it should be done 
under the discretion of a veterinarian and in the context of that relationship. And so that's why they are prescription. They are systemic versus one of these spot-ons or like let's say a Ceresa collar, which is topical and does not enter um, the bloodstream. The normal thing that I ask, um, get asked a lot, is it is a repellent? Can, does it you know, form this bubble around your pet? No, it is not. All these products um, other than, um, I think there are some, I think like the Advan Ticks does say that it repels. Um, but for the most part, even that is kind of wishy-washy. Um, all these products, the flea and the tick does have to bite to ingest the medication and then um, cause that cause that um, pathway that we talked about to happen. So they do have to ingest it, so they do have to bite. So unfortunately, your pet does have to get bitten for it to work. But what it'll do over time is it'll help depopulate um, the environment. So eventually, your pet actually is like a flea and tick killing machine. They come into contact with them in your house. They die before they can reproduce. And so you do not have this horrible vicious cycle where like one flea will lay 100,000 eggs. You don't have that happening because they're dying before they can lay any eggs. So eventually, it does depopulate the environment and so that's how a lot of the times um, these products help not only with killing them so that they're not biting your pet repeatedly which will happen um, but it's also depopulating the environment and as well um, and so that's how the ice all the isaxazolines work so that's going to be not only Brevecto but your um, next guard your Semperica I think there's um, there's a couple more out there but those are the big the big players and so let's specifically talk about this product um, it is an injection, so um, it is an injection that will be calculated by weight, and that's one of the big reasons that I like them as a veterinarian and not um, the chews, and why I was excited about this product, why I like the ProHeart as well. Um, when you buy a chew, you know that there is a dosing range, and these dosing ranges, ranges are tested in there. Um, you know, they know that they're safe, even though it's like um, 24 to 60 or something like that. We know that 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 dosing range is safe, but it's nice to have a product that's an injectable because you can actually tailor it to the pet's exact weight. And so I always like that. It is good um, because I think medically it makes more sense to dose something specifically on a pet's weight, but I also think from a financial standpoint, as far as the veterinarian goes, it makes more sense for me because when we have to carry those products that have um, all those different weight classes, different boxes, different sizes. We as veterinarians have to buy like them in quantities of 10 or 12 boxes. I know a lot of you guys buy singles. We have to buy them in 10 or 12 boxes. So um, we have to buy them like 60 doses at a time in each of those sizes. And so it becomes very costly for us. And then that cost obviously trickles, trickles down to you guys. And so um, when we have a product that we can dose just based on weight, not only is it, I think, more accurate, it allows the cost, at least in my case, at least my perspective, how you price things at my clinic, it allows us to bring the cost down because we don't have to carry all these shoes, skews that sit on the shelf. We can carry one bottle and we can dose every pet appropriately from it. And so I really, I really like that. So it is an injectable um, that will be calculated um, based on your pet's weight and administered at your veterinarian, probably typically at the annual. That's how we're hoping to do it at our clinic. It will be given at your annual with your vaccines and hopefully your ProHeart. And then, you know, it'll just be part of your yearly thing. You won't have to have to worry about it. Another reason why we really like this product is we know based on data, I know there, you know, you don't have to raise your hand, but you can kind of raise your hand at home if you want the privacy of your home. We know that a lot of people, life happens, right? Um, life happens and you miss, you miss doses. And so, um, especially here in Florida where fleas and ticks are really bad. There are other places of this country they are not. Um, there are places, you know, maybe in the big city where your pet doesn't uh, go on the grass or anything like that, where maybe it's not as big of a deal, but I can tell you only based on what I know and here in Florida, and it doesn't matter if your dog never goes outside, the fleas and ticks are getting in and it's a major issue. Fleas and ticks carry diseases. Um, they carry um, Lyme, uh, they carry Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Ehrlichia, Anaplasmosis. Um, lots of diseases. And so outside of that, they're very uncomfortable and they cause a lot of allergies and skin diseases. And we see those quite frequently. If you have a blue bulldog, you have a blue Frenchie, you have a blue anything, you know that your dog is highly susceptible. Um, and you know, honestly, every animal, every dog is susceptible and cats are as, as well, but we're talking about dogs today, so dog only product. Um, and so when you skip a dose of your flea prevention, you really set yourself back because it's going to take about three months to break that flea and tick life cycle. Um, and so I tell people all the time in my clinic, they are preventatives. They are meant to prevent it from happening. Yes, you can use them after you already have an infestation and I want you to be on them. 
um, but it's going to take you three months, and it's going to be three months of that itch cycle being ramped up before they're at full efficacy because they're meant to be applied and used before you have the infestation. That's how they use they are used best. And so um, when you miss a month of your oral flea prevention because life happens, I get it, I've missed two, um, you are setting yourself back and you're setting your, you're setting your pet back. And if you have an allergic pet or a pet that's just sensitive to fleas and ticks, um, that's a setback. Um, and it could mean antibiotics and it could mean steroids and it could mean a lot of other medications that could have otherwise been avoided. Um, and that one tick bite could mean Lyme disease or Ehrlichia or any of those, of those things. And so um, we take away that human error factor. Um, they've done study and research that show that like, even if people buy a 12 month supply at your clinic of a product and have the best of intentions to give it every single month, like over 50% of people don't actually do it. At the end of the month, they have two or three, at the end of the year, they have two or three doses left over. And so this completely um, eliminates that, that worry and that need both for me as a veterinarian diagnostic wise, um, because people don't mean to not tell the truth, but they accidentally, you know, have you given it every month? Oh yeah, I've absolutely given it every month. And then, you know, the, the pet has horrible skin disease and we're wondering why, and it's because they actually haven't, or they've been a couple weeks late. Um, and in their mind, they've given it every month, but really at the end of the year, they've been consistently late several weeks of the month. And so it really helps as a diagnostic, a diagnostic tool and a treatment tool. So that's, that's kind of why we like this product and we're excited about it. Um, it's financially better, it's a better product, it's better with compliance, and we think all around it's going to be a good thing. Um, let's talk about, I have a, the information sheet here that I picked up at conference. I'm gonna go over with you some of just the stats um, because a lot of you guys wanna know, um, wanna know the stats on it. So um, it kills fleas and ticks for a full year. We're gonna go on that. There's a little bit of tiny of a caveat to that. Um, it is labeled for dogs six months of age or older. So they do have to be six months to get it. Um, it does kill um, the Stenocephalus felis, which is the cat flea, which is the most predominant flea that dogs get, cats get it too, obviously. Um, it gets the Iodes tick, the right rice, I never say this right, right bicephalus, the Dermacenter verabilis, which is the American dog tick, the brown dog tick, the black leg tick, and the Lone Star tick. The Lone Star tick is the one that was a little bit of a problem for the product, and we're going to be going over that. Um, but you get the main, you know, you get your fleas, and then you get um, four species of ticks with it. Um, so based on the statistics and data, like I was saying, on average, only owners only give 5.8 monthly doses of flea and tick prevention per year. So half the year um, or every other month, we're forgetting to give our flea and tick prevention, which can lead to major issues, especially if you have a dog with allergies. Even if you have the best intentions, um, that is what happens statistically. In reality, it does. Um, and then, um, you know, this will completely, this will completely eliminate that um, you know, that and give us peace of mind on that front. Um, how quickly does it start working? That is the other question that we get asked a lot. Um, and so within 24 hours of um, the injection, you're going to have 89% efficacy for your fleas within 48 hours, 100% efficacy in your flea kill. So all fleas um, will start to be killed within 48 hours of treatment. Um, and it is going to last for the full 365 days at that high 100% level. With the ticks, it got a little bit dicey with the ticks, and this has to do with the clinical trials that they did. Um, again, you're going to have within, um, I believe it was um, within three days, efficacy um, immediately. So you start getting an efficacy immediately, but um, three days, kind of like peak, peak efficacy for two of the ticks, um, four days, efficacy for three of the ticks and then it take, took about five days to get 90 percent reduction in all of the tick um, species that they tested so um, fleas you got 48 hours and your fleas are pretty much wiped out to get full efficacy on ticks it takes about five days to get full efficacy there um, and then what happened with the efficacy so all of the the most common ticks um, which is the brown dog tick is the big one it had full efficacy over a 99% effective at 365 days. When they did the clinical um, trials on the Lone Star, the Lone Star tick, um, they did see a drop in efficacy um, down to 89.3% at 330 days. So that last um, month did not have the FDA 
requirement um, to have the full 12 months because it did dip below the 90%, which is um, what they are required. And so it actually has um, a label for eight months on the tick protection versus the 12 months. Um, but they did, we did ask that when I had my talk with the um, company about that, and they did say that it, it was more of a, it was more of a clinical trial issue, they feel, than the product because they had tested it before and um, it had performed better. Um, they, they feel like it may have been a tick feeding issue. So that last month there were uh, not, the ticks were not feeding and had to feed to die. And so they did not have that feed, that amount of feeding required to hit that efficacy. So um, they feel pretty confident in their product and such that they do guarantee the product for the full 12 months. And so if you do not see the efficacy for 12 months, they do back that product and there are some um, reimbursements and things like that that they will do through the clinic because they believe um, the product that is that good. And so I don't, I don't feel you know any issues with that if i do see that problem i will be calling the company and they you know we will be doing um what we need to get that taken care of for our clients um so that brings us into safety and um they did a, a wide variety of safety trials on it. i'm not going to go through all of them but basically um they did the medication at five times the dose um, and so if you remember and um, this product lasts for a year so they did five times the dose of this product every four months um, and it was extremely safe and they did not see any um, major side effects with doing that product. So think about that, five times the dose times four months. So, so they did um, 30 times the recommended dose over two years for these patients and um, did not see any adverse effects that were significant. Um, the, the biggest adverse effect actually they saw when doing this many doses at, at that high of a volume was soreness and irritation at the injection site. Um, I did specifically ask about this product and um, the issues with isoxazolines and seizure. It is the same as any other isoxazoline with seizure. It does not cause seizure, but it does um, decrease the seizure threshold in pets that are already epileptic. So it does not cause epilepsy, but if your pet has already been diagnosed with epilepsy, it may lower their seizure threshold slightly. Um, so if you, if you, if you are considering this product, definitely discuss if it is appropriate with your veterinarian. If your pet has seizures, um, there is always that unknown that your pet is an epileptic and they haven't been diagnosed yet. And then um, you give this product and then epilepsy comes to light. Um, that epilepsy would have come to light anyway, um, but it may come to light a little bit sooner with this product. And that is just a roll of the dice. Um, it does not change statistically the number of dogs that are epileptic in the population. Um, so if your dog is an epileptic and you just don't know it yet, you're going to find out eventually. You just may find out about it a little bit sooner. Um, and that is a small portion of the population. So again, discuss with your veterinarian whether or not it's appropriate. You know, if you know that your pet comes from a line that is prone to epilepsy or a breed that's prone to epilepsy, um, you know, that, that's definitely something to discuss. Um, a lot of the other information in my product guide has to do with how we as veterinarians are supposed to mix it, store it, and administrate it. And so I won't be going over that with you, um, but I think that answers a lot of, of the questions. Um, it is not, it's not been tested in pregnant and lactating, so we do not know um, how it will perform in those. It just was not tested. So again, any use in a pregnant or la lactating animal would be off-label. Um, there are no contraindications to it. So there are no contraindications on the label. It, it, even seizuring, I don't think, was listed as a contraindication. At least that's what I was told by my rep. Um, and so no contraindications. So it can be given in pets with cancer, can be given at any pet, any age, over six months, can be given with vaccines, can be given with any other medication. Um, no other side effects. And so I think this could be a very um, valuable tool for a lot of people, um, especially pets that have allergies. This is wonderful if you have a pet that has a food allergy but also has a flea allergy. This is wonderful because it's not gonna inter interfere with your special diet. Um, so that's always something that we're looking for as veterinarians is um, flea and tick products that are effective but also food trial um, appropriate to be used with our pets that can't take anything else by mouth. We've been stuck with topicals and you know, a lot of you guys that use topicals know that they just don't work the same. Um, they just don't work as well. And so I think there's a, a lot of benefit there for those patients. So I'm excited about it. I wanted to bring the information to you um, so that you kind of knew the facts and the data behind that. And so, yeah, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys later.